All right, guys, so now we have two new events coming up, Cherry Blossoms and the Drop and Tame event. And you're probably thinking, are they worth even to stay in the game to play on that? That's what we're gonna find out today at Rappel's News. But before we start, one thing that would be great is if you guys subscribe, leave a like, hit that notifications bell, and a comment on this video, because that helps a lot for YouTube to know that I even exist. All right, guys, so one thing I learned in sergeant school, you should always start with the bad and end up in a happy note, in a good note, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be taking a look right now at the Cherry Blossom event. So at 8 UTC, I believe that's the right thing, or UCT, whatever, uh, we're gonna have a monster popping up at north of Rondo in the Cherry Blossoms Road, right? And you would be thinking, like, we're probably going to get great price if we kill this thing. Well, maybe. I don't know. The, the only thing I know as of right now is that if you cause 50% or more damage, you're going to be getting 15% higher drop rate for a time. Now, they do not tell you what the time is. It could be an hour. It could be half an hour. It could be five minutes. I don't know. But the thing is, 15%. And you know what? 15% is more than 10. Still less than 20. And as you guys probably know, every time they have the 10% extra drop rate, even like 50%. To be honest, I don't see that much difference. Or at least nothing good comes my way. So, you know, that's my guess. Maybe you guys have been lucky. Let me know in the comments. So yeah, you know, that's, that's really what puzzles me about this event is... Um, you can wait like 24 hours to be having a chance to destroy a monster outside of Rondo um, for 15% extra drop rate. Um, waiting 24 hours. I, I really want you guys to get with me on that. You wait 24 hours and you want to be there by yourself. And if you cause 50% damage, you get 15% higher rate. I don't know, man. Uh, I would rather they don't call this an event. Uh, just, we're going to have something popping up. You know, you guys still get a little extra. I, I don't know. It's... <sighs> but yeah, that's the event going on. Now, we have another one. But before we hit on that, let me just say, you guys probably think like, wow, man, you look really dapper right now. Huh? I actually have a job interview later on in the day. And also... It's better for me to hook the microphone. You see, a lot of times sounds get distorted if I'm wearing just a t-shirt. So, gotta fix that, right? Anyway, going to the second event, the drop and tame rate. That's actually an event I would love to see more often because you get a lot of stuff that you actually need. I mean, you get Devil's Blessings, Energies, Pots, all that stuff. That's a kind of event we need more often. I mean, trust me, if you get some of that stuff for free, you'll be more willing to spend some money in the store, okay, for other stuff that you may need more. So, yeah, great. And I really hope, please, G Potato, please play to bit. Make sure, um, you know, you're not going for like a long period of time and only getting a cup of them. Also, I know what you think. You only care about high-level players, right? Please don't do that. You know, a lot of people start the game. Uh, they're going to start level one. That's how it happened, I'm just saying. I know I sound crazy, but uh, trust me. I, I play sometimes to test those events, and I start with a brand new character. And I go up, and by the time I get to level 150, I may have, like, six boxes. You know, I'm just saying it's... Yeah, it sucks. For low-level players, those events don't mean anything. You know what? Just make regular drops for them too. Don't make just like circus and other dungeons actually having a half-decent amount okay, of those drops. Give a chance for the little guy too. I'm just saying, you don't have to. You probably won't care about what I'm talking about. You, you, but 
you know, come on. It's not just about you, it's about the players. You want to make money? Help the players too. But anyway, uh, that's an event that I actually can get behind. Thank God it's back. Uh, I was running out of stuff, just saying. But yes, Cherry Blossom, yeah, I don't know. I may go in, take a quick look, see what the hell's going on, but uh, no interest. Unless they actually publish that, you know, you kill this thing and you get like some special drops. That's the only thing I can see that actually would matter to me. Now, let me just hit a little bit before we finish uh, about the comments. I know a lot of people have been upset. A lot of people say, hey, man, you know, uh, it's not worth for me to stick with the game. Maybe I should go to a private server. Let me just tell you this. I do not support private servers, even that I made a video about private servers before. And that's basically because, so if a game still exists, right? Um, I don't go to private servers, plain and simple. I actually had uh, some private servers uh, offering me money, okay, to advertise them and to get people to move from the original Repel server into their servers. No. Didn't, didn't do advertise for the end, um, wouldn't do. Uh, I don't make money on YouTube, but I wouldn't sink that low. And the most because the moment you start moving people from the actual server, that just caused the actual server to die. And eventually those private servers go away and then you don't have a game to play, okay? So that's my take on that. Um, it's not that I side with Potato, play to be a train thing, not paid by them, trust me. Um, but yeah, so this said, okay, you guys should stick to the, to the actual server. Um, you know, if you have grievance, let me know in the comments. Um, I will address them in the channel. Tell me, let me know what you guys think. Potato, play to be it, uh, all those companies should change for better. Now, don't take me wrong. Don't go in the comments and tell me that they should make everything free, okay? They need to make money. I get it. I want the game to stay alive, so they need to make money for that. So, if you guys have an idea, let me know. I'll address that in the channel. I know, you know what? Some of those guys actually watch my content. Um, not saying they like it, but they watch my content. So, again, guys, don't forget to subscribe, give me a like or dislike if you didn't like this video. Leave me a comment, hit that notifications bell, share with a friend. You know what? Let's bring more people to the game. And as always, I'll see you in the game.